Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Diva. This is video 11, and today we're talking about envelopes. So Diva offers two envelope panels with three different envelope types. And before we even get into it, there's something very interesting in the manual that I think should be mentioned here. So they state, the curves of envelopes within the same hardware synth, i.e. those used for amplifiers versus those used for filters, often differ. This important but often overlooked detail has also been carefully modeled in Diva. So moving on from that, let's take a look at basically what an envelope is. So the first one that we come here is the Minimoog Model D envelope, the ads env one So as you notice here, it's just attack, decay, and sustain, and there's not really release ADS, right? Attack, decay, sustain. So attack is basically the fade in of the note, right? The moment you hit the note, how long does it take for it to reach its ma maximum amplitude? So I have a kind of a healthy attack here, so it kind of fades in, right? <laughs> And then we can see based on the decay time, after it hits the uh, the, the maximum amplitude of our attack, then it starts to slowly decay until it, really, until it reaches the sustained value. So it's gonna be kind of low to make it kind of obvious. And let's make this a little bit shorter for the decay. And then it's gonna hang out here until we release the note. And then it's instantly gone. So there's not necessarily a release phase. So if we click this release button, so now we do have a release phase. But keep in mind that the decay value is also going to be the same for the release time. So as we shorten the decay time, that also affects the release time. So that's kind of a little tidbit that we should know about. Next up, we have the analog envelope one. And a lot of these different envelopes just have a different character. The curves are different. They're all gonna be sounding a little bit different over here. And we have the same kind of typical thing, attack, decay, sustain, release. Not really too crazy, but kind of, uh, yeah, just a little bit different. The last one over here is gonna be this digital ENV1. And the only real difference that we're gonna notice here is it's going to be the Q and the C. So this Q is gonna be quantized, and this gives a slightly steppy sound if we turn this on. And then if we have C, this is going to be a curve, and it gives the envelopes more of an S-shaped curve. The manual has a few different drawings in there of the waveform, so you can kind of see what the curves actually look like if you are interested. You can always right-click this logo and, and look at the user guide if you're interested in doing that. So before we close this out, these VEL and keyboard are very interesting. So let's go to our ADS over here. Let's turn this release on because we're gonna kind of need that as well. So let's listen to a few notes here. Get that in our brains a little bit, kind of understand what that sounds like. So if we look at this velocity over here, so this determines how much the envelope level is modulated or scaled by the MIDI velocity. So I've prepared this thing over here, so I have two notes over here, and I have one with really low velocity, and then one up here with maximum velocity. So let's take a listen and see how that sounds. Get a little bit more release over here, or decay, I should say. A little bit less here. Okay, so this is a good example here. So notice once the note basically goes away over here. Probably right around here, maybe about three quarters of the way, it's pretty much gone. And this one's still even going into the next bar. So you can kind of see how the envelopes are going to react differently if this velocity switches all the way to the top. And then with a the keyboard, this is also very interesting too, because this is basically a keyboard follow. So it scales the attack, the decay, the, and the release times according to the MIDI note number. And that basically means that this makes the envelope of higher notes shorter and lower notes longer. So it kind of gives you more of a, I guess, a realistic kind of vibe here. So don't, over, or don't uh, overlook these sliders over here. They're actually very important and they kind of give you a really nice, unique sound depending on what you're playing so that's basically the envelopes in a nutshell they're not too complicated but i thought we'd uh mention that because that's going to be our next panels over here and you can always match and uh mix and match as they say so hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching